Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the LDM show. On today's show, we're going to be discussing an important topic about knowledge and taking action. So, Hamza, to begin off with, we have this culture at the moment, which is I mean, you speak to a lot of brothers who are newly practicing in the deen, and their sort of biggest aspiration seems to be, you know, going and studying abroad or something like this. And we see many of the people who have gained knowledge, they don't actually, you know, they don't seem to be doing very much. Yes. So, what's your sort of take on this? Well, first and foremost, we have to highlight the importance of knowledge. Sure. Okay? And knowledge is extremely important in Islam sure. to the point that it is a means for our guidance and for felicity, meaning that we're going to attain Jannah, inshallah. Sure. Because the ulama say, the more knowledgeable you are of the Quran and the Sunnah, the more you have God consciousness, taqwa, awareness, mindfulness, and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. And as a result of that drive, you worship Allah, because that's our primary purpose. So... We're not belittling knowledge. However, we have to understand something very clear. Knowledge for the sake of knowledge in Islam can lead to one of the kabair, meaning the major sins. In the classical books, there was a list of major sins. One of them is gaining knowledge and not doing anything with it. Okay? So that's the first thing we have to understand truly. The other point is, sometimes we fall for this socialization amongst the Muslim ummah especially in Britain and the West. I'm going to go to Medina, to Al-Azhar, to this place, this place to gain, become talab al-ilm, to become a student of knowledge, and I'm going to gain all this knowledge, and then, that's it. It's, it's like a balloon, time. right? You blow this balloon, it gets bigger, 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 and it's funny, and then you let go, and it squeaks. Yeah. And I'm not saying this to build it to anybody, I'm saying this as true frustrating, frustration, because I don't want to do what, what I'm doing. Someone else should be doing what I'm doing and what you're doing, bro. The people who went to Medina and Mecca, which they do. We're not saying people who do go there don't do that. But let's be frank. There are thousands of these students of knowledge that came from Al-Azhar, came from Medina, came from Mecca. And they end up teaching Tajweed and driving a minicab. Don't get me wrong. The Prophet some kissed the hands of a laborer. Yeah. And don't get me wrong. Teaching Quran is the best thing. But look at our crisis at the moment. We have a dawah crisis. We have a crisis where... Islam is being attacked from a sociological, intellectual, academic, popular, popular layman, street, Every online angle. point of view. It's guns blazing. And we have all of these amazing tools it's and these amazing gifts. Yeah. yeah. These, these, these gems that have gone to Mecca, Medina, Al Asad, and other places. Yeah. And we're not seeing anything. No blogs, no online work, nothing. And for me, it's quite frustrating because it creates a mentality that. We have this fix. It's like a drug in a way. I'm going to get knowledge, akhi. Yeah. Yeah. Ilm. Yeah. I know it's funny, but it's true. But knowledge is not an end. It's a means. Yeah. It's a means it's to worship greater. Allah. And one of the greatest acts of worship is doing dawah. Yeah. All so we don't just gain knowledge for the sake of an ego boost or knowledge. I mean, take for instance, my iPad. Say this is an iPad. My iPad, from this perspective, is an alim. It has Quran on it. It has hadith. It has books on usul of fiqh, on jurisprudence, on hadith, on the sciences of hadith. So, is my iPad establishing Islam in the world? Well, it's not an alim, is it? It's not. It's an iPad, yeah. right? This is why Imam Malik, may Allah have mercy on him, he said, true knowledge is not memorization of Quran and hadith. Because my iPad could do that. You could yeah. write it down. True knowledge is that nur that Allah gives in your heart, bro. That you've taken the Quran and the Hadith and it's become you. You be the knowledge. You're not just you memorizing. Action, basically. Of course, and that's how you take action. That's why the Sahaba, may Allah be pleased with them, they took knowledge and they implemented it. But you know what the funny thing is? And I could almost swear by Allah on this. Many people watching this have more knowledge than the Sahaba. Really? Bro, some Sahaba were not qualified to do... To give fatawa. Oh yeah, they spent a little bit of time with the Prophet. Yeah, some yeah. Sahaba did not memorize the whole of the Quran. I know brothers who could give fatawa, they could give fatwa, they could give a, a, a pronouncement, a juristic pronouncement, for example. Yeah. They have memorized the Quran. So if knowledge was just memorization and ability to proclaim verdicts, then by that situation, they're, they're, they're more knowledgeable than some Sahaba. But what made the Sahaba different, bro? They took Actually. one ayah, they took one verse of the Qur'an and it became the DNA. It was part of their blood. They were the ayah, do you see? But for us now, we've become like a walking library. 
And it's a shame. And for me, it's so frustrating. Wallahi, I'll be so happy that all of these brothers, they just قُمْ فَأَنْدِرْ Arise and mourn. And start doing the work. Because, you know, the stuff that we do, we have to learn from all the difficult mistakes. You know, we have to speak to the ulama, to all the brothers that have the knowledge. But it's those brothers and those scholars who have the knowledge, they should be producing the stuff. Blogs, articles, internet. There's so many shubahat. Do you know... Atheism has increased 30% on campus in the UK, yeah. according to the UK census. Atheism has increased faster on campus than Islam. Why? Why is the truth? Why exactly? It's, and it's the truth, but yet we're not proclaiming the truth. So, I don't want to take me wrong here. I have utmost respect for people who gain knowledge. I, I, I'm so, I, I believe I'm, worse, I'm, I'm not worth the dirty towel now. So I'm not speaking from the point of arrogance or I'm on an ivory tower. I'm speaking from the point of frustration. I'm frustrated. Wallahi, there are so many people who have no knowledge. And inshallah together, there's khair in the ummah. And the Prophet said, Al-Mu'minu Miratul Mu'min. The believer is a mirror of another believer. If there's a blemish on your face and you're looking at the mirror, you're not going to wipe the mirror, are you? So what I'm trying to do, and I don't want people to misquote me, I'm trying to wipe myself here by saying, Ya Ikhwan, I'm seeing you as I'm seeing myself. So let's elevate each other. And inshallah, these brothers... You know, we'll be able to do something amazing this year, inshallah. May Allah bless them. But I, 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 something be, I, online, possibly. Yeah, of course, online. I, I, online is very important, as we know. But the reason I'm, I've spoken about this because it's, it's a frustration that many people have. And you know what? It's, it's shaitan. Mm. Shaitan uses our own voice against us. Yeah. Because, mashallah, many of these brothers who have studied, they have good tarbiyah, not like us, you know, speakers. We have arrogance, yeah? May Allah save us from this. They have good purification of the heart. So they don't want to put their name on things. They don't want to promote their work. Which is actually very good. Which is a very good trait. But we live in a crisis now. And now is the time yeah. to step up, inshallah. May Allah bless them. Jazakallah khair for your time. Inshallah, in the next shows, we're also going to be covering many of these sort of related topics to atheism, online and activism. And we'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum.